That's me, Steve Fox and York the Guide Dog stand up paddle boarding. Then me sitting out in the surf. And finally, I'm surfing blind, legally blind. Title reads, No Right Way. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, get those notifications, smash the like button as well. It helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you could share our video, that would be great. Of course, I wouldn't be surfing without the help of some amazing mates and supporters um, like Mark, who you'll see coming up in just a sec. There aren't too many surfers that head down to the beach with their guide dog. There's a few of us, but there aren't that many around. Surfing has always just been such a huge part of my life. It's one of those things that, you know, it becomes a part of your identity. It's, it's more than just a sport, it's a lifestyle. It's, it's who you are and what you do. And it was something I, I just couldn't give up. So I needed to find a way that I could continue to surf, even though I was legally blind. Just skirt around, there's boards everywhere, so I'll just skirt around over this side and take the long way around. Okay, so in a way, surfing, it's just like anything else that you do when you're, when you're blind or vision impaired. You, you just need to figure out a different way of getting things done. So for me, I just broke it down into small parts that were achievable. Getting some help to find my way down to the beach. Oh, it's pretty high. Right. So the crowd. Yeah, it's a bit spread. We've got um, a bit of a right-hander sort of running across this way. Yeah. There's about four or five guys merging straight ahead. I reckon if we um, live and head up the beach, up north a little bit. Yep. Getting somebody to find a spot on the beach that I could surf without causing too much havoc. Having someone to just point me in the right direction and then call me into some waves. If you break it down into small steps that are all achievable, then you can do it. Paddling out through the surf. If you paddle into the whitewash, you know you're going out. And you can hear the whitewash coming. So, small steps, and then you put them all together, and then all of a sudden, you're surfing. So where we are, it's not going to take them around. Um, Left and right. All right. So we got guys to the south about 70 metres away. Yep. Uh, so everybody inside, so thank you for being on it. Yep. I just love the feeling of that glide, that cruising along the unbroken wave. It's impossible to think about anything else as you're doing it. All your troubles, they all drift away. You can't think about day-to-day -day life while you're surfing the wave. You're just in the moment. You're a part of nature for that few seconds that you're surfing that wave. It doesn't matter where you surf, if you catch a good wave, another surf will paddle over. So if somebody paddles over, I just make sure that I let them know that I'm blind. I wear the rash vest that says vision impaired surfer. It doesn't say blind surfer because blind means drunk in Australia. Just to let you know, I'm uh, I'm legally blind. So if you see me coming towards you, yell out, Mark's calling me so. One of the things that I really struggled with when I stopped relying on my sight to surf was lining myself up with the wave. So somebody would call me into a wave, but if you can't paddle at the right angle, then you paddle across the wave and you miss the wave. Paddle right. It took me a while to get back into rhythm with the ocean. You need to feel the swells going under your board and line yourself up so that you're paddling straight into that wave so you can pick the wave up in the first place. But when you feel the, the momentum the board starting to, to drop into the wave, that's when all that muscle memory kicks in. The 40 years of surfing, you're just surfing by feel. You, 
you feel yourself drop down the way. You know whether you're going to go left or right. And as you drop down further on the wave, the board slows down, you know it's time to pull up. If you pull up too high on the wave, you start to, to bog down as well. So you, you need to keep the board gliding in that sweet spot. Well, that's what I do anyway. That's, that's how I surf legally blind. I don't surf big waves anymore. Uh, getting smacked around by a three foot wave that you don't see coming, well that's one thing. Getting uh, worked over by an eight foot wave, well that's something else. That's a trip to the chiropractor. Small waves in uncrowded surf, that's all I do. Just a couple. How are you going? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. Bit of fun though. Yeah. So when you're surfing and you're not relying on your sight, when you're surfing blind, you definitely rely on sound a lot more. You're listening for the white water coming towards you, you're listening for people paddling around you, or even somebody sitting on their board. I can hear the, the water just lapping on the surfboard, so I pay really close attention trying to, to work out what's going on around me. But in reality, surfing blind, it's just like surfing with sight. You're, you're out there, you're enjoying the water, the salt water. You're loving being a part of the environment, catching waves with a few friends. It's, it's just the essence of surfing. At the end of the day, there's no right way to surf. Some people chase giant waves, some people are all about radical maneuvers, some people ride short boards, some people ride long boards. There's no right way to surf. And there's no right way to be blind or vision impaired either. There's such a variety in people's experience being blind or vision impaired. Some people have no sight at all, no light perception, nothing. Some people have a little bit of central vision but no peripheral vision. Some people have some peripheral vision but no central vision. It's an enormous spectrum and everybody's experience is different. Not everybody wants to ride waves or ski or climb a mountain. But if given half a chance, no matter what people want to do, whether it's concentrate on their career, their education, the arts, family, it doesn't matter. When given half a chance, people that are blind or vision impaired, it's amazing what we can do. Just because you're blind or vision impaired doesn't mean you can't have an amazing life just like everybody else. Nah, I've got a couple little ones. Yeah. I'm going to have to take you off for a walk before it gets too hot. Right. Drops off just here. Hey. That feels warmer now. And after another fun session, this time Samson, another surf buddy, guides me back to the car. We, we have to paddle across a creek. Walking straight for a rock. Oh, right. it should be right now. All right? Yeah. Okay. Let's grab the back of your board. Yeah, okay. Okay, uh, you just come over this way a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, we're all good now. Yeah. Titles read No Right One. Steve Fox, Blind Surfer. York, The Guide Dog. Mark, Surf Buddy One. Samson, Surf Buddy Two. Script Writer, All Ad Lib. Set Design, Huey. Location, Not Telly. Clothing by Old and Unsponsored. Surfboards by Even Older and Unsponsored. Special thanks to Mad Dog K and Seabass. Surf Buddies Not Featured. Also thanks to Mick for printing my rashi. Filmed and edited by blind filmmaker Steve Fox. And if you've stuck with us this far, thank you for watching Steve Fox and York the Guide Dog. We'd love it if you'd subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the bell, get those notifications, smash that like button. That always helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And um, yeah, feel free to share this video as well. Thank you for watching and we'll be seeing you in our next video. Won't we, buddy? Good boy.